hello ladies and gentlemen knife detector here and guess what i got another knife video for you and i know a lot of you guys already know what this is let's take a couple of seconds to see if you can uh remember the name of this knife that a lot of people have probably forgotten over time all right if you don't can't remember by now then either uh Alzheimer's has started to set in on you guys and gals or you just don't know what this is This is a Mikov from Czechoslovakia guys. These were made with stang ha stag handles <laughs> They're about four inches long closed. They're bare bones uh, Really good sturdy knives um, Give you a closer look in a second uh, They have a main blade and they have a, a nail nick that's kind of like integral to the edge of the blade right there and then they have this really good saw that i'd say is on par with the swiss army knife saws it's just like that good because i think the swiss army knife uh just like tobias mentioned in one of his recent videos is like pretty much the best knife you can find out there in a pocket knife this i think this is pretty pretty much on par with that it looks like the same knife really so guys check this beautiful mikov out it's got stag handles it's got an imperfection in it got it used i think i paid like I don't know, 25 bucks for this thing on eBay. They make some much nicer Mikovs now uh, with different designs on the handles. So these are starting to go a little bit by the wayside. But let me tell you, they're worth carrying and they're worth having because it's just bare bones. These are, I believe these are issued to the Czechoslovakian military. There you see it says Mikov stainless. There's a look at the stag. Now this knife had a crack in it. Let's see if you can spot it has a crack in it and what I did is I sealed that crack with a little bit of JB weld see I just put a little bit of JB weld in there mixed it up stuck it in and that way uh, I can kind of uh, have that uh, little bit of added security that that stag won't split any further but this knife is in really good shape. It wasn't used much. The blade was used a little, but not too bad. It was a little bit dull when I got it and just a couple of swipes in my uh, diamond easy lap sharpener it just came right back up so now it's really sharp uh but this is bare bones nothing fancy here guys looks like uh steel liners i believe this looks like it may be stainless steel the bolsters got these dome pins which are really good nice snap closed in the saw nice snap closed in the blade open up that saw Ooh, cute little snap look at that this is just a perfect handheld saw if you're gonna cut something and let's get a close look at that this is really similar to the saws and the Swiss Army knives a little bit different but but man check out those teeth they will get the job done let me tell you it's a little bit dirty uh, but that's okay let's see I've had this already for several months and I've wanted to do a video on it. The only thing is that I have so many knives to do videos on coming up. See, for those of you just tuning in, in my channel, I don't really focus on one particular genre of knives. I have just a cornucopia and eclectic collection of knives. If you want to see what they are, go check out my playlists. I have a bunch of different playlists. Um, and I just basically whatever tickles my fancy whatever I run into at the flea markets pawn shops on eBay uh, garage sales whatever I run into that's what I'm gonna show you guys right and uh, it just there's no particular order it's insane unless I do a series which brings me to what I'm about to say guys I know that probably a couple months ago I did a series on elephant toe or sunfish knives and uh, because some people call them elephant toe, some people call them sunfish knives. I call them awesome. I've picked up another six uh, since that series ended, and uh, I'm probably going to do another six or seven videos coming up on that series. Really uh, close to this video coming up soon. Um, and you know how I do my videos. I do my videos every couple of days. Every two or three days, I have a video out. But I got several sunfish knife videos. I just love sunfish and elephant toe knives and they're coming up guys. I got a John Primble that's really rare. I got a few frost knives. I got a Canyon Creek which is also frost but eh, it's Canyon Creek. And I got a Rough Rider. I got a couple of Rough Riders. So it's like I, I really have some nice ones I want to show you guys. I really like the elephant toe pattern or sunfish pattern. Uh, people use them interchangeably. 
Uh, I want to show you guys those, so keep an eye out for those. Those are coming up. But anyway, check out this beautiful knife. Yes, it also has a corkscrew like a lot of the Swiss Army knives. I generally uh, don't have a lot of use for that corkscrew. Now check this blade out. This blade is actually a lockback. And look at this nice button, this on the spring, integral to the spring here that pops out. You just And this is firm. Let me tell you, this knife has had very little use. So we're going to close that. Let's see. Nice. Real sweet. Just smooth. Okay. Let's open that spring. I generally do not uh, drink wine. As a matter of fact, you know, I, I don't drink at all, really, alcohol. And, and uh, I don't have much use for this corkscrew. But one time I had a drawer that had the knob off of it, and I couldn't open it. And I stuck the corkscrew in there. I pulled it right out, you know. So there are uses for the corkscrew beyond the wine bottle, okay? Uh, you're only limited by your imagination. But anyhow, I wanted to show you this beauty. You know, I keep my videos short and sweet and to the point. These guys are out there, and they used to be all the rage probably about 15 years ago. Uh, people got these because of the beautiful stag handles, the the uh, simplicity of the knife, and the durability. But now, because they're coming out with new, more modern designs, you can probably get this much, much cheaper. Brand spanking new, this is probably a $70 knife. Okay, guys, this has been the Knife Detector uh, for the with another knife video. Y'all take care. God bless. Keep your knives sharp. Keep your wits even sharper, amigos.